I know it will work together for my good. I know it will work together for my good. Tell your neighbor, I know it will work together for my good. Hallelujah. It will work together for your good. And our key scripture this afternoon is from the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 28. From the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 28. And the Bible says, And we know that all things work together for good. And to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose, for whom he foreknew, he also predestined to, to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he predestined, he, this he also called. Whom he called, this he also justified. Who he justified, whom he justified, this he also glorified. Hallelujah. My dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come before your presence with thanksgiving. I submit unto your Lordship this afternoon, O oh dear Lord, as we gather together in this place to hear from you, Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that God, you are going to speak to your people through my mouth, O oh dear Lord. Use me, O oh dear Lord, according to your will, O oh my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, I submit unto your Lordship, O oh dear Lord God. Use me as a vessel, O oh dear Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Use me according to your will, O oh dear Lord, that Lord Jehovah God, your purpose may be accomplished in each one of us, O oh dear Lord. I commit our, view, our viewers from YouTube. I commit them into your hands, O oh dear Lord. I pray that God, as you speak with us this afternoon, O oh God, you are going to speak to them, O oh dear Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, to the glory and honor of your holy name, O oh dear Lord. Thank you, Father, because you are mighty. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen. Pray the name of the living God. May I start off by saying that all things worketh for good to them that love God and are the called according to his purpose. All things. And when we talk about all things, all things means and includes all things. They may be good. The things that appear very positive. The things that appear encouraging. The things that appear uh, comfortable. The things that encourage us. Those are good things. The negative things. Those things which appear discouraging. Those things which appear frustrating. Those things which appear discouraging and uh, uh, discouraging and flabbergasting. Those are the things which the Bible says all things. Those things, the Bible calls them all things. And we know, the Bible says that, and we know all things work together for good to those who love God and are the called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, all things will work together, but before all things work together, the writer says, and we know. Hallelujah. And we know, meaning that there is a level of knowledge that applies for things to work together for good. There is a level of knowledge that has to, uh, to apply for things to work together for good. For this person who loves God, for this person who is the called according to the purpose of God. Hallelujah. And we know that all things work together for good. Now, this kind of knowledge is not the knowledge that is acquired through education. It's not the kind of knowledge that is acquired uh, through uh, observation. It is the kind of knowledge that is acquired by revelation. It is that kind of knowledge that is acquired by revelation. And this revelation must come from God. This revelation must come from God. 
for you to know by revelation that revelation must have come from God. As we read from the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 16, we see a brother who had a revelation and knowledge by revelation. In Matthew chapter 16 verse 16, Jesus has asked his disciples, whom do people say that I am? Whom do people say that I am? But they start beating about the bush. Some say, you are John the Baptist. Some say, you are Elijah. Others say, Jeremiah. Or one of the prophets. Then Jesus turned to them in verse 16. Verse, verse 15. And he said to them, but who do you say that I am? Who do you say that I am? Then a man who had knowledge by revelation, he says, you are the Christ. In verse 16, Simon Peter answered and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is knowledge by revelation. It's not knowledge by observation. Because by observation, people were saying, this could be Jeremiah. This could be John the Baptist. This could be one of the prophets. But knowledge by revelation, Simon Peter says, you are the Christ, son of the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So there is a level of knowledge. And this knowledge is not that common knowledge that is acquired by observation. But is that knowledge which is acquired by revelation. Hallelujah. Therefore, having that knowledge in our key scripture, uh, Romans chapter 8 verse 28, and we know. Now we know that all things work together to them that love God and are the called according to his purpose. Tell your neighbor, I know. I know that all things including the good things including the bad things including the discouraging including the encouraging including the lacking including the having all things will work for good to them that love God and are the called according to his purpose hallelujah Paul says and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God to those who are the called tell your neighbor I am called I am called according to the purpose of God I am called according to the purpose of God and I will pursue to accomplish the purpose of God hallelujah God is able to combine the good and the bad. God is able to combine the good and the bad so that all things may work for your good. It doesn't matter the kind of situation you are going through right now. I want to look at I want you to look to look at that situation. I want you to look at that circumstance that which has been appearing hindering that which has been appearing humiliating into your life and face it head on and say I know it will work together for my good hallelujah it will work together for your good because God the, who, God who is able to orchestrate who is able to combine that good and that bad to make good to make it work together for your good he is here with us. Hallelujah. It is very important to understand, my dear brethren, that each one of us, every one of us, ladies and gentlemen, we are created to accomplish God's purpose in our different, uh, different ways. We were created to accomplish God's purpose in our different ways. 
your the way you you accomplish God's purpose may not be the same as the way Pastor Dan does it. It may not be the same as uh, uh, Pastor Francis does it. Everyone, every one of us has got his own way to accomplish God's purpose because we were not called the same. We were called differently. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, the way you accomplish God's purpose in your life is different from the way the other person does it. But by the end of it, the purpose of God has to be accomplished. In whichever way, the purpose of God will have to be accomplished. Hallelujah. Now, this one thing that we have to understand is that as you start pursuing God's purpose in your life, you will have to expect obstacles. Our man of God at one time was saying that good is always enforced. You cannot get good easily. You cannot accomplish good in an in in easy way. Good is always enforced. And for you to, to be able to, to, to accomplish the purpose of God, expect hindrances, expect obstacles, expect challenges. But I've come this afternoon to encourage you, my brother and my sister, that all those challenges, all those difficulties you're facing as you pursue to accomplish the purpose of God, God is able to work them out. God is able to combine them in his own divine way to ensure that they all work for your good and that the purpose of God in your life is accomplished. Hallelujah! Challenges may come from all directions. As you pursue the purpose of God, challenges may come even from within the circles of a family. And we get this a good example from the book of a Genesis chapter 37 verse 8 Genesis chapter 37 verse 8 and his brother said to him shall you indeed reign over us or shall you indeed have dominion over us so they hated him even the more for his dreams and for his words this is Joseph Joseph had dreams and when he had dreams, he shared the dreams with his brothers. He shared the dreams with his parents. And these dreams, remember, they were taking him. They were leading him to the accomplishment of, the go uh, of God's purpose in his life. His brothers never knew that God had a special purpose to accomplish with the life of Joseph until towards the end is when they came to realize that truly God had a purpose in the life of Joseph. Hallelujah. So they opposed him. They hate him. They did all kind of evil against him. Just from the family. Just from the people one know. They can emanate a lot of obstacles just to hinder you from accomplishing the purpose of God in your life. People you very well know may be used to hinder the purpose of God in your life. To cause resistance, to cause obstacles, to cause hindrances that the purpose of God may not be accomplished in your life. But here I have come to, to tell you my brother and my sister that irregardless of the circumstances, irregardless of the kind of resistance, irregardless of the kind of hindrance that may come your way, you are the called according to the purpose of God. And the purpose of God will have to be accomplished. Whether the devil like it or not, the purpose of God will stand. The purpose of God will prevail in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. obstacles may come from people we may not know. Just because you, you are pursuing 
to accomplish the purpose of God. Somebody you don't know may hate you for nothing. Somebody you, you don't even know is not your neighbor, is not your, 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 your colleague at the place of work. Somebody just from nowhere begins to hate you just because you are on your way pursuing the purpose of God in your life. Hallelujah. Sometimes opposition and hindrances may come even from the nature under the influence of the devil. The devil may influence the nature so that it causes resistance, so that it causes obstacles, so that it objects you from accomplishing the purpose of God in your life. But I have come to encourage you, my brother. I've come to give you a word of encouragement this afternoon. That regardless of the kind of hindrance that you face on your way, as you pursue your purpose, as you pursue to accomplish the purpose of God in your life, don't be discouraged by those obstacles. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged, my brother. Don't be, uh, don't, don't be obstruct, uh, obstructed from accomplishing the purpose of God in your life. Pursue. 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 Hallelujah. Pursue. And the purpose of God will be accomplished because we have a God who is able to work out things. He is able to combine all things, all things, all things, all things, the good, the bad, and everything to make sure that all things work for your good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, for, 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 for all things to work together for your good, this level of knowledge by revelation has to apply. This level of knowledge by revelation has to apply. Because you use the knowledge by observation, things will not work. Because you will use understanding, you will use your education, but it will not work. Maybe it may work for your material things. You may have money, you may have everything. But when it comes to the spiritual matters, you need a level of knowledge by discernment, by revelation. And that is what will, help, will make, uh, enable you to know surely whether things will work for your good. The knowledge by revelation. Joseph had that knowledge. Joseph had that knowledge by revelation. That's why when his brothers hate him, his brothers do all sort of evil against him, Joseph is just quiet. We don't hear him complaining. All these stories are written about Joseph. Nowhere you've ever seen Joseph complaining. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Joseph had that revelation. Joseph had that knowledge. Now, I want us to, to look some few points here uh, so that we're able to understand how this knowledge by revelation help us for things to work together for good in our life. Hallelujah. For things to work together for our good. One thing, uh, uh, the first thing is that there will be ease to forgive. Hallelujah. When all things work together for your good, when all things work together for your good, when you have that knowledge, when you have that understanding by revelation that all things work together for my good, there will be ease to forgive. And that is what exactly happened. That is exactly what happened when Joseph 
was tortured and persecuted by his brothers to a point of being sold in Egypt. Let us get uh, Genesis chapter 50 verse 19 to 21. Genesis chapter 50 verse 19 to 21. Joseph said to them, do not be afraid. Am I in the place of God? But for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good in order to bring it about as it is this day to save many people alive. Now therefore, do not be afraid. I will provide for you and you, your little ones. And he comforted them and spoke kindly to them. Hallelujah. These are the very people who had sold him. These are the very people who had lied to his father that Joseph was dead. These are the very people who destroyed his, uh, his, his garment of many colors. And here he is telling them, don't be afraid. I will provide for you. Already he had forgiven them. Already he had forgiven everything they did to him. Why? Because he knew if they did not sell him to Egypt, he would not have been become the prime minister in Egypt. So the act of them selling him was God working out things, bringing them together so that all things may work for good. Because Joseph loved God. And he had been called to accomplish a great purpose to save a great nation. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Joseph had been called to save the nation of Israel. That was the purpose for which God had called him. And when he was pursuing it, then he had to face all these obstacles and challenges. But blessed be the name of the Lord because God used the, all these situations, used all circumstances surrounding Joseph and they worked for good to him and even to save the entire nation of Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you have the knowledge by revelation, point number two, we do not complain. When you have the knowledge by revelation, there is no time you will complain. There is no time you will complain. You may be oppressed, yes. You may be, uh, you may, you, you may be ob obstructed, yes. You may face many challenges, yes. But you will never complain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you have the knowledge by revelation, you will never complain. Let us get Gen Genesis chapter, chapter 40. Genesis chapter 40 are from verse 13. Verse 13 and 14. Now, within three days, Pharaoh will lift up your head and restore you to your place and you will put Pharaoh's cup in his hand according to the former manner. When you were when you were his butler. But remember me when it is well with you. And please show kindness to me. Make mention of me to Pharaoh and get me out of this place. Of this house. That was prison. Joseph has interpreted the dreams of the two guys who were with him in the prison. The one was the butler and the one was the chief baker. To the butler, he told him, according to your dream, within three days, you will be restored to your former position and you will place the cup of the, of, of the king in his hand according to the former manner. And to the other, uh, to the baker, 
he told him according to a dream the king will hang you but he tells the the, the, the butler when you are restored to your to your to your office remember me and make mention of me to the king so that i may be removed from this place hallelujah but as we read in the book uh, in verse 23 verse 23 yet the chief butler did not remember joseph but forgot him hallelujah hallelujah the butler has been restored to his position so he is eating and drinking and everything is well with him but he forgot completely about joseph and he completely forgot but blessed be the name of the lord joseph has the revelation joseph has the knowledge by revelation that all things works together for good it is good that joseph was not removed from prison at that time because possibly if the butler could have measured joseph to pharaoh at that moment joseph would have been removed from the prison but the purpose of god would have been interfered with i was just imagining possibly joseph would have been removed from prison and went home the case with the potiphar's wife would be gone so whatever came thereafter would not have happened but blessed be god joseph remained in prison until the appointed time joseph remained in prison until the appointed time so that god may be able to combine the good and the bad to accomplish the purpose of his will hallelujah hallelujah so joseph remained in prison but he does not complain he does not complain why because when we have the knowledge by revelation we know we know that all things that all things work together weave together who woven together and they all work for our good hallelujah it worked for good to joseph by remaining in the prison until the appointed time many a times people seek to get shortcuts to come out of some situations i've come to encourage you my brother who sit a foot shortcuts who sit after shortcuts let god himself accomplish his purpose through the situation you are going through let god himself accomplish his purpose through the difficult times you are going through hallelujah so when we have that knowledge when we have that knowledge by revelation we do not complain we do not complain we do not complain for we know that all things will work for our good hallelujah another thing when we have the knowledge by revelation when we have the knowledge by revelation that all things work together for good we silence our enemies our discouragers those people who come to discourage us we silence every voice from the enemy we silence every voice we silence every voice of discouragement in jesus name hallelujah we can read from the book of a second kings second kings chapter 2 second kings chapter 2 from verse 1 and it came to pass when the lord was about to take up elijah into heaven 
by a whirlwind that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. Then Elijah said to Elisha, Stay here, please, for the Lord has sent me on to Bethel. But Elisha said, As the Lord lives and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel. Now the sons of the prophet who were at Bethel came out to Elisha and said to him, Do you know that the Lord will take away your master from over you today? And he said, Yes, I know. Keep silent. Hallelujah. I don't know. I, I don't know why these people had to tell him something he already knew. Elisha was aware that his master was going to leave. And that's why he did not want to, uh, to, to, to leave him go. He told him, as the Lord liveth, and as your soul liveth, I shall not leave you. Elisha had a revelation that if this man goes, I must tap the double portion. I must tap the double portion of anointing from him. And if he goes in my absence, I may not get that. That is not knowledge by observation. The knowledge by observation, those who knew by observation, they knew that he was going to be taken and nothing on top of that. But the man with the revelation, the man with knowledge by revelation, he says, I know. You are not telling me to encourage me. You are telling me to discourage me. Be silent. Hallelujah. Be quiet. I know. When, when, we, when we, we have that knowledge, when we have that knowledge by revelation, we silence every voice of discouragement. I don't know what kind of voice of discouragement has come your way. Tell it. I know. Be silent. Hallelujah. Job was another man. Job chapter 2 verse 10. Job chapter 2 verse 10. But he said to her, you speak as one of the foolish women. Uh, as the foolish women speak. Shall we indeed accept good from God? And shall we not accept adversity? In all, thing, or in, or in all this, Job did not sin with his lips. Hallelujah. Job speaking to his wife with a with a face of I've never expected to hear this from you. I've never expected to hear such from you. You are speaking like one of the foolish women. silent hallelujah when we have the knowledge by revelation Job acknowledges that aitakuwa mazuri peke yake no we receive good and also bad comes our way and Job understand that the good and the bad all things work together for our good. Why are you speaking like one of the foolish women? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we have that knowledge, we silence every voice of discouragement. I pray that you will be able to silence every voice of discouragement that comes your way. I pray that you will be able to silence every voice of discouragement in your life. In the name of Jesus. May you silence every voice. 
that discourages you. You are not the kind of person to be discouraged. You are not the kind of, the, of person to be, to, be, to be obstructed. You are the call according to God's purpose. And the God's purpose must be accomplished in your life. Silence every voice in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When we, this is another point, when we have this knowledge by revelation, when we have this knowledge by revelation, it helps us not to sin. In all this, Job did not sin with his lips. A man with the revelation, a man with the knowledge by revelation, he does not sin even though the good and the bads are combined. They've come his way. He has the revelation that all things will work for my good. Hallelujah! Shout, all things will work for my good. All things will work for my good. Job says, you speak like one of the foolish women. And then all these things are happening. You, uh, you understand well the, the, the story of Job. All those things he went through, the Bible says that he did not sin. The knowledge by revelation helps us not to sin in our lives. The revelation will help us to avoid sin because things will not work for our good if there is sin in our lives. Things will not work for our good if there is sin in our lives. Hallelujah. As I come to an end, we are not scared by the situation we are going through if we have the knowledge by revelation that all things work for our good. We are not scared. Even the situation we are in right now, the whole world is scared. The whole world is terrified. But them that are the called according to the purpose of God will not be scared but what we are, by, by what we are going through. Them that are called according to the purpose of God will not be scared by the situation the whole world is going through. For we know that all things will work for our good. Somebody may be wondering how does Corona work for our good? For them that are called according to the purpose of God, it will work for their good. It will work for your good, my brother. Hallelujah. Let us read from the book of Numbers chapter 13. Numbers chapter 13 verse 30. Verse 30. Then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, let us go up at once and take possession for we are well able to overcome it. Hallelujah. This is a man who has knowledge by revelation. Those with the knowledge by observation, they went and spied the land. And they saw people who were huge and they compared themselves with grasshopper. So they bring back information to the congregation of Israel saying, we are not able. We are not able to overcome that city. While we were there, we saw people, huge people, and we saw ourselves as grasshoppers. That is what they, they said. And when the whole congregation is frightened, when the whole congregation is, uh, is discouraged, a man with a revelation, a man who has knowledge by revelation, stands and he's quieting the whole congregation. Don't be afraid, guys. We are well able. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 
this man was not scared by the situation. He was not scared by the kind of people they saw in that land. He is quieting the people. At that time, everybody was saying, why? Why did you bring us to die here? Everybody is complaining against Moses. But the man with a, uh, with a revelation, the man with the knowledge by revelation, he said, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Be calm. Be calm, guys. We are well able. Let us go at once and take possession for we are well able to overcome it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know the news that are spreading all over are news of discouragement. But there is a word of encouragement this afternoon that we are well able to overcome it. Our, our, our senior pastor the other day was telling us that we shall cross over. We are well able to cross over. We are well able to cross over my brother, my sister. Let us not be discouraged. Let us not be discouraged by the numbers. Let us not be discouraged by the, by, by the statements. We are well able to overcome it. It, is, it has come and it will go. It will leave you accomplishing the purpose of God in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How I pray this afternoon that God will enable you that God will enable you to have that knowledge by revelation. That God will give us that knowledge by revelation so that we may be able to see things the way God himself see them. So that we may be able to perceive things the way God himself perceive them. If God perceive you as a winner, you are a winner. You see yourself a winner and not a loser. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it will work for your good. But make sure you have the knowledge by, by revelation. Do not use the knowledge by observation. For it is written that man shall live by faith. Man shall live by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. By sight is observation. But by faith is by revelation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Love you, Holy Spirit. I am done. But I pray that the Lord will enable us. From where you are watching, God will enable you to have the knowledge by revelation. The knowledge by revelation will enable you to perceive things the way God wants you to perceive them. So that you may be able to accomplish God's purpose all through the good and the bad. Because God himself will work them out for your good. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you. We thank you because you have spoken to us this afternoon. Thank you because, Father, it's by revelation, O oh God, that we are able to know your will. It's by revelation, O oh God, we are able to perceive your will, O oh my God, upon our lives. My Father, my God, this afternoon, how I pray, even for my viewer, the Lord God King of glory, from wherever he is watching, he will be able to understand that the knowledge, O oh, by revelation, will help him oh, to achieve everything working for good to him and her in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, because your word is true. Your word is true in our lives, O oh God. We thank you because, Father, you're going to help us, oh, my dear Father, King of glory, to overcome and to silence every voice of the enemy that comes to discourage us. We shall be able to silence every voice of discouragement. We shall be able to overcome even fear against the situation that is coming against uh, uh, it comes our way, oh dear Lord, to the glory and honor of your holy name, oh Jesus. We thank you and we give you praise. We give you all the glory. We honor you. We bless your holy name. We thank you because God, you are good. Thank you for you have given us encouragement this afternoon that Lord, all things will work for our good. 
thank you because father you are going to orchestrate everything you are going to combine the good and the bad you are going to combine everything to work for our good to the glory and honor of your holy name in jesus name we pray